dear students under the topic radius of curvature previously we learnt how to find the radius of curvature when it is given in the form of cartesian equation now we are going to learn the radius of curvature of a curve defined by the parametric equation so what is a parametric equation and how it is different from cartesian equation cartesian equation will be given in terms of x and y together but here the parametric equation is an equation where we have x in terms of theta separately and y in terms of theta separately so now we are going to find the radius of curvature when the curve is defined by the parametric equation and very importantly students what they tend to do is they confuse this parametric equation with polar coordinate equation so polar coordinates are that which are in the terms of r comma theta a single equation or two equations in terms of r comma theta is are the equations in polar coordinates whereas here we have parametric equations where x is given in terms of theta and y is given in terms of theta it can be theta or a parameter t anything but a para but x will be dependent on a parameter and y will also be dependent on a parameter so now the, um, we are going to find the radius of curvature for this parametric equation the formula given to find the radius of curvature for a parametric equation is rho is equals x dash square plus y dash square the whole raised to the power 3 by 2 divided by x dash y double dash minus y dash x double dash now what is this x dash x dash is the first differentiation of x with respect to theta so i will write here x dash is dx by d theta so what will be x double dash it will be equal to d square x by d theta square so this is x double dash and uh, what is y dash y dash will be equal to dy by d theta and similarly y double dash will be equal to d squared y by d theta square so this is the uh, so the, uh, we have x dash x double dash y dash and y double dash so after finding all this we have to substitute in this formula in order to find the radius of curvature so now we shall learn a problem under this topic but what i am going to do is as of now i am not going to use this formula i have given this formula for your information only that is we can use this formula and find the radius of curvature when the equations are given in parametric form but now the method that i am going to solve this problem will be like first uh, here for example the question given is prove that the radius of curvature of any point of the cycloid x equal to a multiplied with theta plus sin theta and y equal to a multiplied with 1 minus cos theta is 4a cos theta by 2 so now in order to solve this problem what i am going to do is i will be differentiating x with respect to theta and y with respect to theta and from that i will be finding dy by dx after finding dy by dx i'll be finding d squared y by dx square and i will use the normal uh, radius of curvature formula which we use for the cartesian coordinate as i solve this problem you will understand it this formula i will use for some other problems and i will show you so we shall proceed with this problem now so in order to solve this problem first we shall write the given x equals a multiplied with theta plus sin theta and then y is equal to a multiplied with 1 minus cos theta so now first we shall find dx by t theta that is differentiating x with respect to theta what do we get we get dx by d theta is equals a is a constant which is in multiplication so it will come as it is bracket if you differentiate theta it will be 1 because we are differentiating with respect to theta so the differentiation of theta is 
plus the differentiation of sin theta is cos theta. Yes. Now we shall differentiate this that is differentiate y with respect to theta. So what we get is we get dy by d theta which is equals now a is a constant which is in multiplication so it will come as it is bracket if you differentiate 1 1 is a constant so if you differentiate 1 it will become 0 so 0 minus now if you differentiate cos theta the differentiation of cos theta is minus sin theta so minus sin theta so this will be again equal to a now 0 is a 0 minus into minus becomes plus so this becomes sin theta so dx by d theta we have found dy by d theta we have found now next what we are going to do is we are going to find dy by dx how shall we do, do this this will be equal to dy can be written as dy by d theta divided by dx can be written as dx by d theta. So because it is in parametric form we have already learnt how to write uh, dy by dx if x and y are given with, uh, in terms of its parameter theta. So this is how we have to write and so that will be equal to what is dy by d theta it is a sin theta so let us substitute that so a sin theta divided by what is dx by d theta it is a multiplied with so this one bracket 1 plus cos theta so this is dy by dx now further we shall simplify this by using some trigonometric formulas so there is a trigonometric identity from which we have sin theta is given as 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2. So this is a trigonometric identity. So sin theta is given as 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 and also 1 plus cos theta will be equal to there is another formula which states that 1 plus cos theta is 2 cos squared theta by 2 so now we are going to use these two formulas over here so what will be dy by dx so it this simplifies as dy by dx is equal to now a multiplied with sin theta can be written as 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 so let me write the 2 here and then sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 divided by a multiplied with 1 plus cos theta 1 plus cos theta will be equal to 2 cos squared theta by 2 so by this formula we can write this 1 plus cos theta as 2 cos squared theta by 2 so I am writing the 2 here and then cos squared theta by 2 so now we can see that this 2a and 2a gets cancelled and one of the cos theta gets cancelled in this denominator with the new cos theta in the numerator and we will be left out with sin theta by 2 divided by there is one cos theta by 2 over here which is cos theta by 2. But what is sin theta by 2 divided by cos theta by 2? We know that from trigonometry it is equal to tan theta by 2. So therefore we have obtained dy by dx to be equal to tan theta by 2. So we have obtained dy by dx. Now using this we can obtain d square y by dx square. So let me show you that. So I have taken and written here dy by dx is equal to tan theta by 2. So now from this again differentiating with respect to x. What do we get? We get d squared y by dx square is equal to first we have to differentiate tan theta by 2. What is the differentiation of tan? It is secant squared. So it will become secant squared theta by 2 multiplied with differentiation of this angle. 
what is the differentiation of theta by 2 theta differentiation is 1 and this 1 by 2 is a constant so it will come as it is multiplied with the I mean, uh, differentiation of theta is actually uh, those 1 by 2 is a constant which has which we have written here differentiation of theta is d theta by dx because it is a parameter so and we are differentiating with respect to x so d theta by dx so this is what it is so differentiation of tan is secant squared and this differentiation of angle 1 by 2 is a constant so i have written that and differentiation of theta is d theta by dx uh, dx now what is this d, d theta by dx it, this we have to take and write from here that is already we have dx by d theta so from this we should take the reciprocal of this it will become d theta by dx will be equal to 1 by a multiplied with 1 plus cos theta so that we have to substitute so let us do that so this will be further equal to secant squared theta by 2 multiplied with 1 by 2 multiplied with 1 by a multiplied with 1 plus cos theta so this is done now further again this 1 plus cos theta we have to use this formula that is the formula which i have already given 1 plus cos theta equal to 2 cos squared theta by 2 i have already given this formula so this formula again we are making use of it so this 1 plus cos theta we are going to write it as 2, co 2 cos squared theta by 2 so we shall write that so this will be further equal to the secant squared theta by 2 comes as it is multiplied with 1 by 2 multiplied with 1 divided by a and then this becomes 2 cos squared theta by 2. So the 2 only I have written here. So 2a this 1 plus cos theta is 2 cos squared theta by 2. So I have written here. Now further this will be equal to this 1 by 2 gets multiplied with this, with this 2a and becomes 1 by 4a and uh, secant squared theta by 2 this one and then cos squared theta by 2 which is in the denominator when it is taken uh, uh, it is equal to secant squared theta by 2. So we know that 1 by cos theta is secant theta. So 1 by cos squared theta by 2 will be secant squared theta by 2. So therefore d squared y by dx squared will be equal to uh, secant power 4 theta by 2 divided by 4a. So now we have obtained this. Now using dy by dx and d square y by dx square in the Cartesian formula for the radius of curvature, we can easily find the radius of curvature. So let us do that. So the Cartesian formula for radius of curvature rho is given by 1 plus dy by dx the whole square whole raised to the power 3 by 2 divided by d squared y by dx square. So we all know this formula already. So in this we are going to substitute dy by dx that we calculated. What did we calculate dy by dx as? So we have calculated here it is tan theta by 2. So that we have to take and substitute. So therefore this will be equal to 1 plus tan theta by 2 the whole square whole raised to the power 3 by 2 divided by what is d squared y by dx square we have calculated here it is secant power 4 theta by 2 divided by 4a so that we have to substitute power 4 theta by 2 divided by 4a which is further equal to now this is actually 1 plus tan squared theta by 2 raised to the power 3 by 2 so this square is actually tan square so tan square theta by 2 multiplied with this I will rewrite so when we uh, take the denominator of the denominator becomes the numerator so 4a divided by secant power 4 theta by 2 but what is 1 plus tan square theta by 2 by the trigonometric formula it is equal to secant squared theta by 2 so remember the trigonometric formula for 1 plus tan squared theta by 2 is secant squared theta by 2 so i will write here the actual formula is 1 plus tan squared theta will be equal to secant squared theta 
So now using this formula we get tan 1 plus tan squared theta by 2 will be equal to secant squared theta by 2. The angle is theta by 2 here. So therefore this turns out to be secant squared theta by 2 whole raised to the power 3 by 2 multiplied with 4a divided by secant square secant power 4 theta by 2 now this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled and so in the numerator we have it as secant power 3 theta by 2 multiplied with 4a divided by secant power 4 theta by 2 so the this power 3 and one of the power gets cancelled here and we have 4a by secant theta by 2. But what is 1 by secant theta? It is cos theta. So 1 by secant theta by 2 will be, so this will be 4a. So 1 by secant theta by 2 is cos theta by 2. So therefore the radius of curvature for the given two curves is rho equal to 4a cos theta by 2. So that is what we are required to prove here. So they are asking us to prove that the radius of curvature of the cycloid given by these parametric equations is this. So we have proved that it is equal to 4a cos theta by 2. So we are done with the proof. Hope you have understood this problem. Thank you.